Slovakia and Slovenia have perhaps the most similar sounding names of two countries. In fact, they are so similar, SlovakRepublic.org have a page on their website explaining the confusion between the two nations, and the staff of the Slovakian and Slovenian embassies have to meet once a month to exchange posts sent to the wrong address. Surely, with names so similar, there must be a connection between the two. Both countries exist from bigger countries breaking up, with Czechoslovakia breaking into the Czech Republic and Slovakia, and Yugoslavia breaking up into Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and of course, Slovenia. To find out how these two modern nations got their names, let's look into how these original countries of Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia got their names, how they were formed and eventually split up to the nations they are today. The land area that once covered Czechoslovakia and now the Czech Republic and Slovakia was once part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The idea of a combined Czech and Slovakia started during the late 19th and early 20th century. Both groups of people felt they were being oppressed and wanted to gain their own national identity. The Czechs had a national movement through the 19th century and the Slovaks were struggling to keep their national identity after a huge nationalist movement in Hungary which repressed the Slovak people. Talks between the two people really started to kick in by the 1890s and things only got more serious during World War I as groups of Czechs and Slovaks formed the Czechoslovakian Legion. After the Great War on May 31st 1918, plans were put ahead to unify the two states and on the 18th of October of that same year, Tomis Galig Mazalik issued a declaration of Czechoslovakian independence and went on to become the first president of the newly formed nation of Czechoslovakia. Okay, so that was going a bit off topic. You guys are here to find out how names are formed, not nations. Of course, the name Czechoslovakia comes from the two groups of people who live there, the Czechs and the Slovaks. How the people got the name Czech is unfortunately unknown, but legends say it comes from their leader Czech, who brought them to the land. Slovak, which is what we're more interested in for the namesake of this video, simply comes from the shortening of the Proto-Slavic Slovenian. And if I said that wrong, I seriously apologize. I'm just going with what Google Translate told me to say. By the late 20th century, the nation of Czechoslovakia was waning. Some had felt that this was inevitable, but others feel that there were factors that played into the separation. However it happened, what we do know is that it was completely peaceful, and the separation of Czechoslovakia was approved on the 31st of December 1992, and on the following day, one nation split into two, the Czech Republic and Slovakia, with each country keeping the names that reflect on the people who live there. Moving on to Yugoslavia, this name comes from the Serbo creation Yugoslavia, which in turn breaks down into Yug, meaning south, and Slavia, meaning the land of the Slavs coming together to mean the land of the southern Slavs. There had always been an idea of unifying the South Slavic nations dating back to the 17th century and in 1918 in the fallout of World War I, the nation was first formed under the name the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes. But in 1929, the king assumed dictatorship of the land and renamed it to the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. The nation eventually split up due to political upheaval in the early 90s with Slovenia, the country we are most interested in for this video, becoming an independent nation in 1991. The full story and history of Yugoslavia could be a video in itself, but perhaps done by someone who deals more with historical topics. But for now, there'll be further reading down below for those of you interested. The country of Slovenia gets its name much like the way Slovakia does from the people who live there, the Slovenes, whose name was also self-appointed like the Slovaks, coming from the Slovene language word Sloveniak. The name Slovenia was not used prior to the 19th century and was coined for political reasons by Slovene nationalists. So why do these two nations have such similar names? I guess it comes down to a lot of the other similarities they have. Both nations were once part of larger nations, both countries are named after their people, and both people come from the same ethno-linguistic group, Slavs, with Slovenes however being South Slavic and Slovaks being West Slavic. With the Proto-Slavic language branching out enough between West and South Slavs to give us these two similar yet different names.